with my son. Before we were on the diet, I would give him a cookie and I go, oh yes, I have like five or 10 minutes before he's gonna crash because he'd be happy for five or 10 minutes and boom, he'd crash again. I'd have him another cookie and he'd be happy for five or 10 minutes, maybe even longer and boom, he'd crash again because that was giving him almost in a sense that fix, like he needed that. That is why it is hard for a lot of our kiddos, which we, we all believe this, especially those of us that are on the diet, it's hard for our kiddos to be able sometimes to take those foods away at first because it's, it's something that they want so desperately because it makes them feel good for that short term. But once you start taking those foods away, you start seeing, for a lot of us at least, um, and again, not every child is the same, but I know for my own sake, my son's um, eyes became less foggy. He seemed to see things more clearly. And um, that's, you know, really important. Um, we want to heal and seal that gut. And one thing, like I said before, we, we really want to look at food um, as being a crucial foundation to being able to help our children get healthy. Because I really believe food is either medicine or poison to our children. And um, when we're linking about enzymes, you know, again, what exactly is an enzyme? Well, they are the workers of the body. Uh, they are, they all have different functions. I want you to think of them as, you know, these little workers, this little Pac-Man, all having different functions throughout the body, and they all work within a specific pH and temperature range. There are thousands of different enzymes functioning in our bodies, and again, each of them have a unique role. Um, what we're looking at today, when I'm talking about an enzyme, though, is a supplemental enzyme, something that we add as we're eating our food. So we're going to basically get a supplemental enzyme and we're going to add that with our food. And now, why should someone take an enzyme? Well, because as we age, potentially, we are producing um, less and less enzymes. Also, when we cook our food, we denature the enzymes. What that means is at 118 degrees, we actually denature the activity um, that is happening with these enzymes. Also, how many of us are eating fast food and processed foods? How many enzymes do you think are in those particular foods? Because the fresher the food is, the more enzyme activity is there. What Mother Nature has done is she has put enough enzymes, let's say if you were to pick an apple from a tree and you, know, you were to eat that apple, those enzymes in that apple are actually helping digest that food, um, or that apple, I should say. But many of us aren't going out to the apple tree and picking an apple and eating it right away. And even, even if you are getting the freshest foods you can, um, basically, we're still seeing people have issues being able to digest that. It takes 80% of our body's energy to actually digest a meal. So we really want to take that stress off that body and be able to help assist that body in digesting that food uh, to really help our kiddos who aren't feeling um, really the way they should be. And again, why would a child with autism, let's say at the age of two, be having an issue with enzymes? When I just said as we age, we potentially are producing less enzymes. Well, a child at the age of two, perhaps, and again, these are, these are theories, but these are theories that many of us are believing, especially those of us that have seen our children get better with this kind of stuff um, or feel better, you know, many of the people are believing that the pathways could be blocked um, for the, these kiddos. Um, that, and it could be blocked for lots of reasons. Some of them could be viruses, yeast, metals, bacteria. And so again, it's really important for us to educate ourselves on this. When we look at what an enzyme deficiency means or looks like, again, I've been talking about it this whole time. Gas and bloating, constipation, diarrhea, acid reflux, particles of food in the stool, heartburn, and really the list goes on. As I said that list, many of you might be sitting there thinking, gosh, I have a lot of those. And I'm not surprised because many of us are having enzyme deficiencies, not just our children. For example, myself, every time I eat a meal, I take an enzyme. Why? A couple reasons. One, I want to have more energy and I don't want to put that much stress on my body because I do believe as we age, we produce less enzymes. So I don't want to be able to, I, I already know I'm going to produce less. I don't want to be able to use those, in a sense, enzymes out of my piggy bank, let's say, right? So I want to take those enzymes then to be able to help break up my food and, um, and not be tired. How many of you guys have had lunch, went back to work and felt exhausted? Or maybe you had a family gathering, you ate a big meal. What happens after a big meal? Many of us sit on the couch and some of us fall asleep because our bodies are working so hard to try to digest that food. And so when we look at that list, really many of us have this and not just our kids, 
So I really recommend for all of us to be looking at um, ways to, you know, create a healthier found out foundation within ourselves. Now, I talked about supplemental enzymes, and those are called digestive enzymes that you're going to look for in the store. One of my favorite brands, um, obviously, is Enzymetica, if you know my background. Um, and, you know, Enzymetica has a great line at many of the different health food markets. Um, one of my favorites is called Digest Spectrum. That is a broad uh, spectrum uh, digestive enzyme. I like to think of it as the A to Z enzyme. What that means is um, how many of you guys know what um, a multivitamin is? Well, a multivitamin is what? An A to Z multivitamin. It has lots of different things to help lots of uh, different maybe deficiencies in your body, right? We want to be able to maintain a healthy body. Okay, well, when I think of a multiple, like our a broad spectrum enzyme, I think of the A to Z when I think of digest spectrum. Basically, that has uh, four to five different products of Enzymeticas put into one. And what that is, is basically it's going to help with not just my general digestion, but with my gluten and casein digestion. It's going to help with my carb and phenyl digestion, my, lacto, or my lactose digestion. Um, and then it's also going to help with my beans and rice and, and veggies and fruit digestion, right? And many of us aren't just sensitive to one thing. We may be sensitive to mul multiple of things. And so it's important to be able to look at that. Um, I'm sure there's other enzymes out there. That's the one I really trust um, because there has no fillers in it. Uh, and it's um, all enzymes and there is basically uh, no binders or anything. It's a capsule. And you're going to take with that one, the serving size recommended, recommended dosage is two capsules per meal, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Now, if your child is a grazer, many of our children eat five to seven times a day. What I would recommend is maybe look at the three bigger meals because those are the meals I really need to break down. If your child maybe eats a couple of bites of, you know, a snack here and a couple of bites there, I probably wouldn't be giving enzymes with every bite. But again, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, those are typically the bigger meals, and that's when I'd be looking at my digestive enzyme intake. Um, and again, I talked about it a little bit ago, but think of them as like the little Pac-Man that goes in and help break up that food for proper digestion and absorption. Again, nothing can be absorbed into the body and brain without enzymes. So many of us might be giving supplements already, and we're wondering why they're not being absorbed. But then we're looking at our child, and their gut may be like basically, you know, not doing well. And we want to be able to help break up that food and then also be able to absorb everything the child's um, taking in that we want them to. Um, where are enzymes found? Enzymes are found in raw food. I talked a little bit about that when I gave the analogy of if you picked an apple from a tree and how Mother Nature has put enough enzymes in that apple. Um, they're also found, uh, they're produced in the pancreas and GI tract. And I talked about as we get older, we produce less of our own enzymes, and then also supplemental form, and I talked about uh, Enzymetica as being a choice to look into when you're looking for a digestive enzyme. Now, um, when does someone take an enzyme and how do they do it? Well, digestive enzymes are taken with the first bite of food, and that's the most optimal time to take them. Sometimes people like to take them 10 to 15, maybe even 20 minutes before. Um, my son, I give it with the first bite of food. Sometimes you think, okay, well, I forgot to take it, so what do I do? I would say take it when you remember. However, again, the most optimal is the first bite of food. Um, there are other enzymes called therapeutic enzymes, and those are taken away from food. Um, Enzymatica does have some therapeutic enzymes. I'm not going to get into those right now. Um, but uh, what the nice thing, what, the reason I like what they do is because digestive enzymes are color-coded in yellow. Therapeutic are color-coded in red on their actual labels. Um, in their bottles. So if you see a digestive enzyme from Enzymetica, you will see it be color coded on the top in yellow and you know that that's a digestive enzyme. Um, and again, Digest Spectrum is one that you may want to consider. Um, if your child can't swallow, I would recommend twisting open that capsule and putting it into a small amount of either water or juice and stir that and give that with the first bite of food. Um, you can also um, add it to something like uh, the first bite like of applesauce or pear sauce, a banana, uh, something that's room temperature, not hot, because remember I talked about enzymes are denatured at 118 degrees, so we definitely don't want to put it in something hot. We also don't want to put it in a whole bowl of food because it will basically help digest that entire bowl of food, which is kind of a cool science experiment, but not something that we want to uh, do. 
uh, if we're trying to get into our child. Um, people ask all the time, what do I do for a child that's at school? Well, I would say get a note from your doctor and have uh, the school be able to give that before lunch. Some states have told me that no matter what, even if you did that, they won't administer it. What I would say then is um, as soon as my child got home, I would try to give them a digestive enzyme. Or if you have the opportunity and you can get to their school at lunchtime, perhaps you can give it or um, maybe another family member can do that. But again, you know, you got to do your best and make uh, sense of the world um, around you. So I would definitely give it in the morning. I would give it after school if that's the only time I could. And I would give it um, at night uh, for dinner. Um, people ask, can I take multiple enzymes at once? So perhaps I'm taking Digest Spectrum, and we have um, other options out there uh, that we can consider, perhaps Glutenese, which is just helps with uh, gluten and casein. Um, but maybe our children are having severe issues with that, so just like a multivitamin, right? Um, if I were to give a multivitamin and um, my child was lacking in calcium, I may give calcium on top of that multivitamin, right? So same thing with a product like Digest Spectrum, which is the A to Z um, when you're looking at enzymes. Um, maybe I give two of those with breakfast, but maybe my child really has a huge sensitivity to gluten and casein, and I'm not really I'm on that diet yet because I'm trying to take baby steps to get there. Perhaps then I would add a glutenese, um, and again, that's another digestive enzyme from Enzymatica, to the Digest Spectrum um, until my child uh, got on the proper diet or perhaps um, this, they, the gut began to heal better. Um, because again, remember, Digest Spectrum does have uh, a blend uh, in there like glutenese, just not um, in the same potency. It's not as high potency um, as glutenese. Um, the other thing is, um, the neat, nice thing about enzymes is they'll never go wasted in the body. They will always find something to do. Um, one note for you guys to know, um, especially if your child's not swallowing capsules because, you know, you're twisting that capsule open and you're figuring out a way to either get in the liquid. You don't want to put it in a whole thing of liquid because you want to get that within the first couple of bites of food. But note uh, that sometimes, not just with enzymes, but almost a lot of our different supplements will, will do this. Um, I noticed this with my son. His lips started to get kind of dry around the edges. And um, so what I did was I just used either a little bit of chapstick or maybe a little coconut oil or olive oil you can do as well, um, depending on your child's sensitivities. And I just kind of put that on his lips, and then I would give it uh, to him that way because especially with enzymes, enzymes are going to go after dead skin cells like around the lips. So they're not. it's not that it's uh, hurting the child. The, the enzymes are doing what they're supposed to do, but if you put a little bit of chapstick, it basically creates a barrier there, and then you won't see that dryness uh, around the mouth. So, again, that's just a little tip uh, for you guys. And, um, you know, we, I know we talked about a lot here today with different diets and different, uh, you know, uh, enzymes and, and about digestion. And I wanted to kind of give you guys some more resources to help you be able to stay connected with us. So, of course, we have this YouTube channel. Um, there's a radio show you guys can listen to. There's websites um, and Facebook, of course, Twitter. And really, um, the list goes on with different blogs and stuff like that. So we really wanted to make sure we gave you guys all the resources we could. And I wanted to leave you guys with some final thoughts. Um, this is a quote by Christopher Reeves. Um, Anyone can give up. It's the easiest thing in the world to do. But to hold it together when everyone would understand if you fell apart, that's true strength. And I think that's important for us to think about as we're thinking about how hard it can be sometimes raising a child on the spectrum and all of the new things that we have to learn. And, you know, like I said, many of us did not expect this. I mean, I know I didn't. But you know what? When my child began to look at me, when my child began to say his first words again, when my child gave me his first hug, I can tell you it's all worth it. I am, you know, I feel like I am the luckiest mom in the world because I definitely don't take anything for granted with my son. So I hope this lecture helps you guys. Again, this is the first out of five modules that we're doing in this series. And I hope you guys stay connected with us. And I just wish all of you guys the very, very best. Thanks, guys. Until next time. Bye.